baby. Game one goes to ATL 6-2. It was a bit of a costly win, losing Charlie King of the Hill Morton to a fractured fibula. Prayers up to you, and holy crap, how did you pitch one and one-third uh, scoreless after breaking your leg on Yuli Gurriel's ground out in the second. But you are the ultimate, ultimate GOAT, and we are going to get this... <laughs> this done for you. Thank you for everything you did for us this year. We are going to finish the job and the bullpen stepped up and stepped up huge. I will get to that, but the offense started off uh, guns a-blazing. Hip hip Jorge returned to his rightful leadoff spot. Jorge power <laughs> channeling his inner Ronald Acuna Jr. 2-0 fastball meatball 1-0 in a blink of an eye and then uh, we went into add-on mode. Ozzy reached base three times. Single, shift that. Stolen base, zoom, zoom, zoom. And then Austin Riley got to the 3-0 green light. Uh, meatball, fastball into the gap, 2-0. And then Charlie had to work around a big two-out rally by Houston. Uh, One-out single by Brantley. Two walks to Jordan Alvarez and Carlos Correa. But got some defensive wizardry help from Ozzy Albies. Great, great snag on play in the hole. The ball was almost past him, and he was able to flag it down. Perfect throw to Freddie. Throw at that rally. Then we went into add-on mode. Jock and Travis back-to-back -back singles. Shift that. Great approach. Not trying to do too much. First and second, no outs. And Dansby with the deepest, deepest productive out. Second and third. Uh, one out. Great productive out. The little thing. Um, the Houston Astros played their infield back, and hip hip Jorge added to his stat stat line RBI ground out three nothing bit of a base running blunder by Jack, but didn't come back to haunt us. And then in the third we got um, two more with Eddie. I do everything, and especially not get out and get hits all the hits uh, single with one out. And Duval absolutely crushed one. Hang line drive on that massive two two run bomb. So five to nothing. And then AJ Minter came in, saved the day after Charlie uh, struck out Altuve, um, and his leg gave out on him. And we knew after that. We knew it was pretty bad because Charlie coming out of a playoff game, that wasn't going to happen unless it was terrible. Minter was able to pitch around a Kyle Tucker double, striking out Alvarez on a nasty 90-mile-an-hour cutter, two and two-thirds, uh, three hits, one earned, zero walks, three strikeouts. Playoff Minter is just different. He did have a big spot of bother in the fourth Gave up back-to-back -back, um, singles, uh, first and third, one out. Chaz McCormick hit a grounder off the thumb of Dansby. It did not look like it feel good. It looked to be a tailor-made double play, but it took a weird hop on him. But he was able to get Martin Maldonado swinging, and Jose Altuve on a pop-out to himself took, uh, took care of business. So eliminated the damage to one which are so, so huge. And then in the fifth, one, two, three, easy breezy, career high, 43 pitches. And that was massive, massive eight outs if I've ever seen them. And then Luke Elite Jackson returned to form, one and one third, three strikeouts, no walks, gave up one hit, but nothing else. Tyler Matzik, uh, one and one third, two hits, one earned, zero walks, two strikeouts. Came in for, um, came in for Jackson and stranded a runner by striking out Bregman on a nasty slider, and then um, he gave up a a triple to Jordan Alvarez. I don't know how he actually hit it. Um, just kind of laid the bat on it and almost hit it out one handed, but was able to limit the damage to one, and then. Eddie Rosario nabbed Yuli Gurriel on trying to go to second on a long, long fly ball. 
but the monkey ballpark in Houston kind of benefited the Braves there. A strong, strong throw by Eddie, cutting down a rally chance there. Fabulous defense all night long. Ozzy uh, with a couple great picks. Freddie with a couple great picks to save Ozzy and Riley. Um, defense and miscues. Uh, so that was pretty, pretty strong as always. And we went into add-on mode in the eighth with a uh, leadoff walk by Dansby, a uh, check swing beauty single by Jorge Soler. Couldn't have placed it any better. Great base running by Dansby to get first to third. And then, um, and then Dansby, uh, speed kills, short sacrifice fly, tested Kyle Tucker, great matrix slide. Uh, to get that add-on run back um, to make it 6-1. to one. We did give up a run in the eighth, but was able to limit the damage. And then Will Smith got a, a leadoff lead -off walk with three ground outs to slam the door. Absolutely incredible stuff from the pin. Yes, we had to use our main guys and use them a lot, but we were able to get the job done, slam the door, and limit the damage. I also loved our approach tonight. Uh, we made them throw a lot of pitches from a lot of their key guys as well. So we're kind of in the same boat, except we have a one, one lead and that's the most important thing. Thank you, Charlie, for what you've done. Now we're gonna go finish this thing for you. Absolutely incredible approach all night long. Great defense <laughs> and the formula was epic and amazing. And Luke Jackson, returning to Luke Jackson, couldn't have happened at a better time. As always, go Braves. That was amazing.